your love Swinging and swing with trail and hay Is the old nut cellar Come first off each pocket your nuts Tell me where you want, young fella The funniest thing you ever heard Is to hear her calling Trail so popped down to the brim But not a chance of falling I never seen a thin one yet They always bother hell I believe at night when they get home they Jam box, current slices, light bugs Bear jump pear trees, in pear trees Unless you got one Turnovers Turnovers So if you break something right, turnovers Shut it down right now But let's like, back again here with who? Peter Edie uh -huh. But remember it's coconut turnovers Coconut because turnovers Because in some places they see turnovers and everybody had an apple Oh, oh, oh So we talk about coconut turnovers Coconut oh, turnovers okay. Bear jump bitter again We here with our good friend Grace That's right Yes, and you can take us through again now yes, Grace talked about all of the conkeys last time Those conkeys were off the hook Because the young people that's what they say Say last time But they're, they're real good They're very, you know? so very good So now the conkeys Now the turnovers the Turnovers Yes For turnovers we need flour mm -hmm. So Who are we making it first dough? We're making we make it, we're going to make a dough because right, we okay. need to make a dough first mm -hmm. and then we're going to fill our dough with a coconut. sweetened okay. flavored coconut okay. filling. Mm -hmm. that is it. That's the best part of a exactly. turnover. Yeah. If yeah. you don't have coconut in your turnover, it's not a turnover, it's an apple pie well, or something. Something, like, something, something else with another name. But a Beijing turnover must have enough coconut. You hear that? Enough, enough coconut. coconut. And it must be juicy these, these turnovers and, and sour. The, the, the jam. The turnover Some must be thing. soft when you squeeze it, but when you bite it, you gotta make sure the coconut don't fall all in your lap, mm -hmm. right? It's and soft juicy. And moist on it. Yes. Right. So we need some flour. Mm -hmm. To that flour, we're going to add some yeast because the yeast is to make the dough rise. So we add some yeast. So baking powder flour. Don't we, no, we're not making soda bread. We're no. making dough. <laughs> I, I was we warm, need a pinch warm. of salt. Mm -hmm. So we're mixing all the dry ingredients together. We need some, a pinch of sugar just to help the yeast to work faster uh -huh. in this case because we want to work hard today. And then we're going to add some shortening. But we're going to mix these dry ingredients together first. We use a shortening with shortening. Shortening is like velvet crisp. You know velvet crisp in the silver paper from the supermarket? Because right. mm -hmm. we don't get any other shortening. So it's a pen like lard. Yeah, lard. Yeah, lard. Lard is pork fat, but it's pork fat, but it's refined pork fat. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or you could use oil uh -huh. if you want to. A lot of people are using oils now. Some people might use, I think, but we put in, we might use olive oil or something, but we put in a little fat. Uh -huh. That's to help keep the bread moist. moist yeah. All right? So then, let me put in all of that, and we're good to go. After we've done that, we can make a well in the middle, mm -hmm. make a little space, and pour in our water gradually. Don't pour it all at once, because some flowers are light and take very little water. Mm -hmm. Some are heavy, like our old time, strong white flour, takes less water. You don't do too much mixing, because you don't want to make the dough to compress, and then it gets stiff dough, and you need it yet. So you try to get it to come together as a dough by adding the water slowly. You don't you're, push your fingers in it and squeeze and nothing so? No, not while you're going to have to prove it. Uh -huh. You do that afterwards. Uh -huh. While you're mixing, you don't put in your fingers. But for this purpose, you just stir it and bring it together until it forms a ball. A nice ball. And then we're going to put this away in a nice warm place and let it double in size until cover it and let it double in size. Eric, could you pass me a piece of this paper, please? Thank you. Ex dear. Expertly done. There you go. Like yes. a real chef. Like a real chef, the paper yes. passer. <laughs> yes, so we cover it and right. leave it in a nice warm place to prove. Right. Mm -hmm. And when it's proven, we will start to fill our turnovers. And remind people when this, come out, when this comes out successful, remind the people who passed the paper. <laughs> right. So if you have some here, Mr. Grace, you listen to Eric too much, we can take this from you. And uh, we can bring the door here that has already been, well, sorry, but this one wasn't covered by Eric with his paper. No, no, this is covered with no, no. plastic, which is good. And now we're going to continue. So you see, this, uh, there's the same amount there, look at the size of it now, it's right? It's double the size, double size now. now. Uh -huh. So, and it is light to the touch, it's a bit yeah. sticky. So we would take this out from here. We can put it onto our parchment paper. And what we're gonna do now is to 
sprinkle some flour onto the counter, the board, the board or wherever you have, or paper. Put a little bit on the top of the, the dough so that it doesn't stick to your hand. And then gently remove the dough. Pull the dough away from the size. Okay. Remove it. One lump of dough. Now we are going to give this dough a nice little knead with our hands. Mm -hmm. And we put the flour there so that it doesn't stick to our hands. And we're going to push out, we're punching it down to push out the air bubbles because we want it to rise again oh. right after we put the coconut in. So we're going to push out our dough and roll it, fold it in and roll it over, kneading that dough and pushing out that air that was formed in there and bringing it back down to the small size. All right. Well, could you have done this right on the table here? I could have done that right on the table there. But in the interest of making people easy, easy, making it easier for some people, we can get some parchment paper or baking paper, which is the new final thing. Mm -hmm. Spread it out, put one on top of the other, and get our rolling pin. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to get our rolling pin, and we're going to roll this dough as thinly as we possibly could. Oh, so you don't, you don't roll on directly on it? You can roll directly on it. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can roll directly on it. But some people are not good at rolling directly on things because then it might get sticky. They might not realize if they've put enough flour or not, but this will stop it from being sticky. Mm -hmm. So we want a nice rectangular sheet. And now that we've got that, we're going to cut that into little shapes, into little pieces. We can use our spoon. Cut down, cut away, cut away, and each of these will become a turnover. We don't want to overwork our dough, but we want to make sure we get some nice soft turnovers going on. Okay. And you can make many turnovers if you're having a party area. Right? You have people over. You don't you want nobody coming at my house. <laughs> many turnovers. Are, no you can behavior. have a mini Beijing fest, a mini conky festival, a mini Beijing. You only turn one at me. That mini is, when you come at me, get the mini bus and go back where you come from. You don't know where the mini walk, walk, walk. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. So each of these now will become a turnover. A turnover. Uh -huh. So now to make my turnover filling. I'm going to combine my some sugar with this coconut, and we like it sweet, mm -hmm. and we like it syrupy. Mm -hmm. Then we add the spice, which is another dry ingredient, mm -hmm. or cinnamon if you like. Combine that together, and then we're going to add our wet ingredient of flavoring and a tiny bit of water. Just to moisten that sugar and coconut. So we add some flavoring mm -hmm. and we add a little water. And we're going to just moisten that coconut. Could you use liquid syrup there? Syrup there? Then we wouldn't, then we wouldn't need if the. Um, in, if we use liquid syrup, we won't use the sugar because then the sugar content will be too high. But we can use, yes, we can use the thing. But maybe we could even invent a new flavor coconut. What goes well with coconut? A lemon coconut, but this is beige and bitter. So now we've got our coconut filling. The sugar has dissolved. And we're going to add some to each piece of dough. And then we're going to roll them up and put them into the pan. Easy peasy. You can do these separately. Do each individual one, or you can do like me. I'm just putting some and then roll together. Okay, so there we go. Now, the rolling part. There's the rolling, there's the falling part. Fall in, fall over, uh -huh. and then roll. Oh, okay. Turn it over. Right. And right. then put it in the pan. Oh, see, right here.
or fall over, fall over, roll. Fall, fall, and fall, roll. Fall, fall, and, and roll. roll. Right. Fall, I put fall. the two ends together. The rolled ends go together. Uh -huh. fall, 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 and, and roll. roll. So it's turned over. Fall, fall, and roll. Don't roll, roll, and then fall. Don't, don't roll, fall, and fall, roll. You understand? Fall, fall, fall and, and roll. roll. Easy. Right. I feel if you get this though, uh, Peter. Yeah, but it's easier. Ain't too difficult. Ain't too difficult. I feel if you get, get this one. You know, people always run from doing Beijing stuff because they think they they always think they're so hard to do. Yeah. But really and truly, you know, it's not you know not really. For me, there's some things that take a lot of time, but these ones are yes, pretty easy. Yes, you could also make an yeah. enriched dough if you want to. You could right. add egg to this, but in the old time days, our parents didn't have egg to add to no turnover. They didn't have that luxury. The eggs were kept for baking cake. So we put the egg in where the dough is. And you will put the egg in the in the flour mix the flour. when you were making the flour. And you can do this with a whole wheat flour dough. You can oh. Oh, make. You can make cornmeal turnovers. No, I, I never had a cornmeal turnover unless you make cuckoo. Oh. A cuckoo turnover would suit you fine because you like cuckoo bad. Yeah, yeah. So here we go, our last one. You remember a rust, yeah, yeah, thing, a rust in the turnover? A rust, yes. Oh, boy, I love a rust. A rust. Oh, yeah. man. That delightful little spicy you know biscuit. What is the difference? What is the difference? You know, no, no leavening. Rust is a bit, but it should be sweeter. And it does make yes. more, more enriched as well. Huh? Mm -hmm. okay. Now that we have finished rolling them out, we can put them aside for a little while and let them rise again. Mm -hmm. And after they've risen up to some height you then put them into the oven you. thank yeah. you very much peter and we wait and let them bake for 20 minutes mm -hmm. and, then and then we take them out and we glaze them with some sugar water sugar and water mixed together we glaze them and ta-da here's our baked turnovers aren't they delightful oh yes very do much you want to nice try people. well you didn't have to force me but since you did and, and it's like pull away, pull oh apart gosh, bread. Oh my God! Yeah. And moist on the knife, we like that. Really little, nice, good stuff, huh? I like that little sticky thing on the knife. Nice and warm stuff from the oven, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. So you have your pull apart. It's like mm. pull apart bread, and they're and nice. Still have a lot of coconut, milk. Yeah, all the coconut. So much so it comes at the end as well. Mm -hmm. Lots of coconut on the inside. So. Mm. You can have your vision turnovers, all right? Mm -hmm. Good. Enjoy in moderation. You don't eat cuckoo with these here? No, 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 no. Vision no. better. Vision turnovers. We are frightening, my friend, to the end. Who calling? Lock my hair, love. Swinging and swing with trail and hay is the old nut cellar. First poppy, spark it your night. Tell me where you want, young fella. The funniest thing you ever heard is to hear her calling. Trace so hot down to the brim, but not a chance of falling. I never seen a thin one yet. They always fought as hell. I believe at night when they get home, they don't eat what they don't sell. The next thing you should stop and listen. This is what they say. Talk easy not to extra strong, who call it darling, look my hand.